Sergeant Keenai here reporting for duty, and last we left off, we arrived at this place, however, uh, I don't know if it actually, say, I don't think it did save, I didn't save at all, huh, did it? Yeah, so I'm gonna have to do this fight over again, well, uh, you know, I'm just gonna take a swipe of the nearest warrior. You know, fuck it, because last time I was like, you know, it's cool, bro, just listen to the old man, and they were like, nah, fuck you old man, I'm gonna fight you anyway, so fuck it, I'm just gonna swipe with the nearest warrior. Hopefully, uh, you know, it does some damage to him starting off, that'd be nice. But maybe this time, we can go in and not have a terrible, terrible battle where everybody almost dies. <laughs> because last time, it was so bad. The, the, the fight, it was, it was very terrible, man. I hope that that never happens again. Uh, Overwatch that shit, Overwatch. I, it's way late, but I want to say Overwatch so bad. It just, it just makes sense. It just, that's, that's the right way, dude. It is. You can't deny that that's the correct way to say it. You know, you know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying, dog? Are you kidding? You missed all three? You're fucking the worst, dog. That was terrible. You had three chances to hit him and you missed all, all three damages. That's... You should you should just retire right now, buddy. All right, I'm gonna move you. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have moved her up there. Oh well, it would have been better to have her right here. Oh, four damage, not bad. He has a pierced foot, can't move. Uh, I could probably take him out right now if I hit. That is. Oh, is that enough? Ha <laughs> ha! Get fucked, Arena. We're gonna fucking waylay this guy, and I think that's everything that we can do. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And they're gonna move up. Oh, yeah, they are. Two damage, not bad. Only one ee, a lot of people are focusing on my on my uh my Yarl. Oh god. Leave my Yarl alone. What did he ever do to you? Okay, yes, please attack somebody else. Please. Um can he attack this guy from this far? I don't think so. That's kinda far away. Uh, we're going to go with the attacking him. Hopefully we do enough damage. Ooh, four damage. That's nice. I would like to focus all of my attacks on him right now, but I don't think that's going to happen. Now, he can't attack him from here. Well, there's not much he could really do. I guess he has to he has to attack this guy. Hopefully he draws his attention. Oh, five damage. Nice. That was like a critical hit right there, I think. That was amazing. Uh, attack. I mean, I could take down this guy. If I succeeded, I have, like, super, super shitty... How do I use focus? I completely forgot how to use focus. Um... Oh, this right here. So I need three focus to use this. Target ally, plus 15 accuracy for three turns. I can't do that. I only have one, right? I don't think I could actually use that. Defense points, pure slash, rock chance. They're just gonna, we're just gonna attack this guy. I feel like that's probably the best choice. Uh, you know, hopefully only one of those hit. That's terrible. I was hoping for at least one more hit. Oh, I didn't place down this fool. Okay. Woo. I almost ended my turn. That would have been terrible. Attack this guy. Hopefully, uh, big damage, bro. Oh, we win. Get fucked. That's what I'm talking about. We actually hit everyone. None of our dudes went down this time. Fantastic. Clap it up. Flawless victory. That was much, much better than, uh, the last time we battled. Considerably. Considerably better. Whew. That's nice stuff. Uh, we'll probably rest for one day just to heal. Well, actually, we might just throw him into healer. I don't think he's that tired. He's not knocked out. He should be able to recover rather easily. Seems like loading... I don't know. It seems like it's taking way longer than last episode. I don't know, though. I might be wrong. Oh, pretty much everyone's at full HP, so we don't even have to do any resting. All right, well, we do have to do our trading again. Uh, sell the combs. Sell this shit. You know, uh, confirm plus 58. I want to see what's over at this blacksmith. Um, I don't really give a F about this, to be 100% honest. What's, who's this? Who's this like random fool? Uh, Warrior's coat? Is he the only one that doesn't have one? What about selling? We got a lot. Of, that's all cut by most people, so we can't really sell any of that. Unfortunate, this guy isn't selling anything we need. Um, uh, so what do we need to do? 
Uh, you experienced your travels will show knowledge with you. You have learned much. So I, it says travel to Whitstead, and I've 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 traveled to Whitstead. So explore other locations to collect rumors. Okay. Maybe we can go to here. No, that's definitely resting. There's no confirm. Nobody. Uh, stay over. We can stay overnight. I mean, that's probably what we have to do at this point. I don't think there's anything. Maybe we can collect rumors in a tavern. Fresh ale, company, the most wary travel, drink and listen to this. I don't give a fuck, dude. I ain't spending money on that right now. I think we're just gonna go ahead and, and just stay overnight. I think that's what we need to do. What's this over here? Uh, let's see. Whitstead and his traders are an exotic site. Catrill is amused that you, when you ogle a trader from the far away Brisantine, he has the darkest skin you have ever seen until one of his guards appeared out of a tent, a giant. Even though if he were a half troll uh, git and as black as a, coal, a sea coal, you are mesmerized by the quality of his skills, weapons, and other luxuries items on a show. But at most is far beyond your handful of hack silver in your purse. Catil introduces you to a traitor, Heldebald, from a place called Spania. He knew your Yarrow well and has, and has been asked to buy a Frankish sword for him. He hands the weapon to you and asks you to pick a gift from his wares as the sword was less expensive than expected. Uh, I could pick some wine, take a fine ro cotton roll, or fine, or take a roll of fine cotton, or I can ask for silver instead. I want to take that cotton. Uh, some cloth. You were busy because I feel like that cloth could be worth quite a bit. So Norse sword. I'm assuming we want to give that to our main dude. Yeah, quest completed. Yay! All right, we're we gonna get anything for that. I'm curious. No. Um. Uh, okay. So I wanted to change his weapon. Wait, I cannot, I can't equip the fucking weapon? He can only use knives? Weapon type dagger. Well, fuck me, dude. Oh, shit, I should have chose the woman. I didn't realize his weapons were fucking knives. Hunt, ah, oh, it's terrible. Oh, it's terrible. All right, who can use, does anybody use swords here? No, I don't think any, spear, 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 dude. I got everyone in here uses fucking spears. And then I have one dude with a knife. Oh, fuck me, dude. Alright, going south. Uh, you have traveled south to revenge the dead. Your laws demand a price. The Saxons will not be able to pay a war girl that high, so price. Make sure you are ready as when you travel through hostile territory. Uh, can I go, like, home? Uh, return home. That's what I want to do. Yeah. I need to return home because there's there's far far more many things we need to do before going to just say like haha let's go fight the Saxons like right now definitely not after you turn from Woodstead you spend the rest of your summer being chased over training in the field after, by Cattell you are losing count how many times you had to form a shield wall or how many bruises you had received the season goes by quickly and the leaders of nearby clans know that Yofred has his teeth again well yeah we was trained yay great stuff dog Let's see, so, uh, Days at Sea 1, food consumed, warriors taken, 11? What do you fucking mean I took 11? I didn't take 11 warriors with me. I took like, four dudes. Uh, locations visited, battles won, won, enemies defeated. Yeah, yeah, silver obtained. Uh, population growth. Oh, this is summer. Okay, so, we're good? Uh, wait, I want to know about the food. Is there anything about food in here? Uh, average daily, so we produced one more than what we ate every day. That's terrible. Our food reserves are probably not good. We need to bump up that production, yo, because that was not good production at all. Not at all. You know what I feel like we need to do? Like, during the winter, we just need to switch people back and forth. Uh, you're afraid everyone is, some, is, in, is someone... At home? What? Oh, if someone is at home. I don't. I didn't read that properly. Probably. Um. Okay. So winter planning. So in the in farming. See, farmer produces more uh, more food than hunting, but only during the summer. So I mean, we have an additional person to assign. What gives us the most? So that'll give us a hundred and thirty if we do husbandry. This will give us. Only like a little less than a hundred, so husbandry is way better to do, way better. Uh, still don't have it like ass to upgrade. I would like to get wood, 
but I don't have any of that. I need to do those upgrades soon for more production, more to uh, be able to add more people in there as time goes on, yada yada. We don't have enough people right now to really do that, but you know, soon, soon. The weather on the land is model knife, but the whale world turns into angry fickle beasts once the leaves change color. Yes, we are aware of the of the bad things that can happen. All right, the two small children barely able to walk have vanished from the hall. Their mother died and childbed fever is Sebi. The father is out of his mind with worry. He accuses one of the hall thralls of not keeping an eye on the bra brain. The brains? He throws over a table and starts to hit the old gal with his meaty fist. You signal your warriors pull him away from the woman who is only half his size. What the fuck? Bro, well, in this winter we may have an hour until they freeze the ravens. The invisible folk might take them. Um, does everyone find, go find them? Yeah. Uh, minus three happiness. Fuck off, guys. The whole hall erupts. Men and women throw a storm outside. Too late, you realize that you've trampled over the tracks. Ah, shit. Should have sent my hunters. Fuck me, dude. Well, now we know. Um, let's see. One of the shepherds have come across a huge paw prince uh, close to the pasture along the tidal flats. He says that the prince looked like one of the bears, uh, but they are much bigger than any of he has seen before. Uh, let's see. Let's get all the hunting dogs. Better to find a kill a bear before it finds our cattle. I want to hunt a bear a man against bee wolf. No need to run after it. It'll come to us when it's hungry. Choose a small group who will have the honor of killing the bear. Prepare a trap with old seal meat. The smell should attract the bear quickly. I like I like the trap idea. Uh, you prepare a trap with old. The smell should attract. The smell of rotting seal meat is not very pleasant, but it's supposed to be their favorite of bears. You are not disappointed when a huge white bear appears from the, some bushes and carefully moves towards the meat. You haven't had a time to dig a large enough pit, so you do with a sling. The animal is hungry enough to ignore its suspicion, and you catch one of its paws. The hunters rush closer and launch spears at the animals from a safe distance. After a few minutes, the bear succumbs to its injuries, and, and you wonder how you got it got here. Ha! Success! We got a pelt. Not bad. We have no food! <laughs> We just gotta have no food, dude. We have just no food. Um, that's not good at all. This is winter consumption. So yeah, we produce at a production of four and consume an average of eight. Fuck us, man. Uh, left for summer. Oh god. Food reserves, winter production. Not good. Lots of goods produced. That's good. Uh, warriors. We have 12, 25 cent war. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, good stuff. All right. Uh, blacksmith. Yes, please, we need to make weapons. Uh, is there anything... Uh, well, there's no daggers, man. I wish this motherfucker... I wish I, I did not choose this guy who could only use fucking... He's a support class. Like, no! It was terrible. I wish I could have chose something else. Does anyone use swords that we have? No, nobody in my warband uses swords. So we have this Norse sword that nobody can use. Healer... Healer's cloak? This is ass, dude. Super ass. That's all I could say. Um, do we? Ha we can't really make any good spears. I mean, this is a, this is a good this is a better spear probably than most. Well, no, Ash, the balance hunting spear. Yeah, this is a better spear than what most people have, but we don't have enough gold to make that, unfortunately. A rusty spear is ass. A ceremonial axe is actually pretty good, but again, we don't really have anyone who can use that, unfortunately. Oh, I wish I could retrain that dude into something else, to be honest. Uh, Warband. So this is, yeah, I don't know why this is like, you have all these warriors, yet when I look at this, I have, like, this is this is my guys. These are my guys. Yeah, War Axe, Loyalty, so everyone's loyalty is pretty, well, except for, except for this dude, this dude isn't, lo isn't loyal at all. Needle's Hedel. Alright, uh, Storage. So we have this pelt, which is not, oh, what for the big or small, every animal could be made into a coat. I feel like it would be more expensive because, you know, it's worth more, you know, because it's a bear. I think it would be, it's bigger. Oh, well, what's in my journal? Uh, it says going south. I really don't want to do that. We haven't even, we haven't even gone to Whitstead. Explore the locations, collect room in Orham. We should, we should go back there. We should. Uh, how do we go and journey off? I completely forgot. Oh, is it with our? Sh well, obviously it's with our ship. But I'm trying to remember. Oh, maybe just using the map, probably. Yeah, that's that's about it. 
Um, well, we can go to ha the Hama. We can. I'm gonna go to back to Whitstead though, because there's a rumor there that we didn't get. Uh, recommended large long slip to approximately two days. Yes, I'm I'm aware. Available goods. I'm aware. Let's go, buddy. I want to travel there. Is it not gonna let me? I guess it just straight won't let me do that. That's unfortunate. I guess I'm gonna be going south. Uh, add warriors. Let's let's add the war axe dude and. Uh, this dude is good. He only has one hit. I feel like keeping him out. He has slash. I think I'm gonna put in. I want to gain more trust with her specifically. You know, she doesn't have a a large trust in me, so I want to do that. Uh, trading goods. Let's load some trading goods up. All these combs. All this shit. Uh, and then lots of food. We should probably take a little bit less of this then. Like take five less of that, two less of this, and then we could put what, 30, 45 food on here? Yeah. What is that? Oh, mead. Uh, yeah, 45 food. Come on, stop. Or 35, or 30, what? What do you mean? Let's do not have enough space. How do I have enough space for 36 when there's not enough space for that? At all. <laughs> I don't understand, but uh, we're just going to accept it then, I guess. Move. Yeah, see it's not it's not actually letting me move. It's like a, it's like bugging out right there. I get I get why. It has to be 35. Yeah, I don't know why it's like, hey, you wanna fit an extra food in there even though you can't fit it? Yeah, I wanna do that. Alright, it's gonna take 14 days to travel there? Oh shit. Oh it's gonna take Wait, how much food? Wait, food consumption per day is three. So we need at least, let's see, three, that's 30, 42 food. Yeah, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to change this. Um, we're gonna need, we need at least 42 food, unfortunately. So move that and then grab some more, some more food. Unfortunately, I wanted to bring you know other stuff, but apparently not not gonna happen. Yeah, that's enough, right? Yes, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's enough food for the entire journey Would have been unfortunate if it wasn't I'm going south. I Feel like we're gonna get fucked. You're finally ready. Katera will travel south with you He says he no longer you are no longer useless pups and able to able to scare a kitten But he is certain how well you will fare against the Saxon wolf warriors yet all of you will find out what happened to your warriors firsthand, and nobody argues with you when you decide to first visit your dead Jarl's brother in his burr. Whatever the hell that is. One of the men notices cooking fires off the hamlet. You can't see any ships nearby to decide if I have a closer look. Alright. This will be quick. I can already hear the screams and smell of smoke. There is no honor in killing old people and children. A village this side should have more warriors. Um, you can't see many men. It looks like they're away. The world got you attacked. You don't like the face, so you must catch food before you leave. Yeah, I'm not gonna just attack some tiny... Take a few chickens. You don't disturb the peace. Yeah, there we go. I don't have enough space for that. I haven't gone through any of my food. There we go. See, I see, like, it would have been perfect if I did it now, because then I would actually be able to get it. Axe room? I could visit Axe Room. I don't know what the fuck this is, but I'm gonna visit it. I'm gonna visit every place I come across, to be 100% honest. Because I feel like, you know, not stopping at somewhere is probably a poor idea. Because stopping means I can, you know, possibly run into more people, do a little bit more fighting, maybe get some better weapons. You have certainly improved as a crew. Most of you can hold a rhythm now, despite your pain in arms and backs. Katel has been working you hard, practicing the shield wall every night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, so we have that over there. Let's let's go to this trader first, and I want to sell all of this shit. Sell it all. Uh, give me the monies. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, he has hunting dogs. What else does he have? Seeds. Hmm. You need seeds if you want to expand your farming land. Oh yeah, that's right. 
So I guess I could take... Ooh, I don't know how much I need of those. Maybe we'll, we'll hold off on that, actually. Salts. I know I need wood, but uh, they don't have wood, so... Uh, they have a blacksmith. Let's see if he's got anything good. I mean, yeah, he fucking does. Like, this thing is dank as shit. Seven to eight damage? Huh, I might get that, dude. That's, that's a considerable difference. That's like twice as much damage. And 5% more critical hit. Oh, but it has a minus 5 to accuracy because it's heavy. Mmm, and I lose Pierce Foot. I don't want to be losing any accuracy right now, to be 100% honest. As much as I really want that, it seems really dankerino, I don't want to lose accuracy right now. We're just not really good enough to say, hey, let's lose accuracy. After meeting with the local chief Tyrion, a young man approaches you. He has inherited a small farm that comes with a Danish throne. He is selling the farm as it produces barely enough to feed a family. He was planning to hand it over to the throne to the local Woden priest. When you arrive, he offers to sell it, sell the Dane to you. If he is truly a Dane, then we should buy him. Either way, we buy him, or they will hang him with a wooden oak. Who are we to withhold a sacrifice to Odin, even if they call him Woden here? Hmm. I mean, aren't we Danes? A Danish slave? Oh, the Danish slave. Uh, we pay five silver for the old man. Do you, do you want to insult Woden with a sacrifice like that? That's a good rent. Who am I to prevent a sacrifice? At least give him a sax to hold on to. Um, uh, fuck it, bro. Uh, you haggle over the gray beard as if he were a Yarrow son. At the end, you pay more than you were planning to. That's only five. Uh, said only five, right? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I only put, spent five. You spent the formal thrill back of your shit with the message of the elder to take him in. Yeah, see, that's, you know, I'm being a good guy over here. All right, being a real good guy. You know, helping him out. Let's see, everybody's fine. Um, I think we're just gonna set sail again. There's really no reason to stay here. To be honest, they don't have anything I want. They don't got wood or anything like that. So, one of men noticed his cooking fire Hamlet. You can't see any ships nearby aside of a closer look. Again with this shit. How many times are we gonna steal from people? You don't feel like I don't feel like killing farmers and chickens, dude. An old woman knows you sneaking around and screams help. A large group quickly surrounds you. Ah oh, shit. Ah oh, shit. Well. We got ourselves in a fight, boys. Uh, well, I guess there is a female in my warband, so actually, only four people. That doesn't seem too bad. They don't look like super beefy or anything. If they looked, oh, oh, both of these I can place down in in round one. Oh, nice. Actually, really fucking good. Uh, I can move this guy and then place him down again, right? Yeah, I can, like, grab them, place them down, have them go, like, right here. And then we're just gonna, you know, waylay it all, buddy. Waylaid. And then she's just gonna be in the back, just stabbing people. Like, back here, and they're in the, one of these two spots. Depends on where they orientate themselves. So kill them all. Oh, okay. So killing their leader is not gonna be enough in this one. Two damage. Not bad. He missed... Three damage, oh, that's really good. That was a nice start. I mean, I got damaged pretty decently there too, but that was a really nice start, I think. He can't reach, right? Yeah, he just waylaid it up. Uh, so we're gonna grab you, put you here, uh, move you on over here, give him a little stab from over there. Two damage, not bad, he got a pierced foot. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go with the, oh man, do I wanna, I mean, we might as well just attack him. He's not going to be really able to move anywhere else. And then I'll waylay him and then attack the leader right here. Not bad. You know, it could have been worse. Definitely could have been worse. I like that we're able to put them both down. All right, come on, buddies. Let's go. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. That was against me? I thought that was against him. <laughs> oh, fuck. Bro, that was a lot of damage. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. My ding. My ding. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm doing damage. But I was not doing damage. I got wrecked. Oh, shit. Let's move her over here. And attack this guy. Two damage, not bad. And then move him up right here. 
uh, attack him. This should kill him, I'm hoping. Ah, well, he, he, he blocked it, I think, a little bit because of the shield. Uh, attack him. Not bad. 3 HP. He's gone. See you later, bro. Uh, we're gonna waylay. So I'm assuming one of them's gonna walk up into here. Assuming. Oh, he's gonna do the little... Oh, he missed his little ranged attack. Haha, <laughs> fuck you, you little spear, bro. Not bad. 3 HP damage, and she missed. That's kind of perfect. Alright, let's uh, go with the stab over here. Oh, that's terrible. Alright, go for the uh, war axe right here. Oh, why? No, why? Why do you do this now? Fuck! Okay, I was about to say, are you kidding me? <laughs> All of you are gonna miss? I'd have been so sad. Alright. At least I did something. Fuck, it could have been it could have been better though. I think we're fine. Two damage. I think we're fine still. Yeah, we're fine. Alright, good, good, good. I was a little worried there for a second. Thankfully no criticals or anything ridiculous happened. That'd have been terrible. Alright. Let's try to do this first. Two damage. And can you take her out? Because I kind of want to move the axe dude up. There we go. Broken shield. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Alright, move you up. Hit you with an axe. Three damage. Nice. Alright, it's in our turn. I don't know if he'll move or not. Ooh. That's some, that's some pretty serious damage. But I mean, it could have been definitely could have been worse. That's for sure. Um, I can move her here, spear him, two damage, spear him, uh, not a high chance to hit, that's something, how much HP does he have left, let's attack with you first, broke one of his defense points, oh my dude's actually super low, I don't know why I decided to do that, I should have moved away, oh well, uh, we have to live with our decisions, hopefully he misses, Okay, he's attacking him, and he missed. Perfect! Haha! -ha! Get fucked, bro. Uh, I'm just gonna try to attack with him first. Two? That's enough! Perfect! Alright, he's down. Great. Flawless victory. Your enemies lie on the ground, bleeding, hopeless, praying to their gods. Give me all of your shit! No silver! What, these fools are poor? Poor motherfuckers. I'll steal all your goddamn chickens now. Yeah, look at that. We're not even damaged. We're feeling good, bro. Hopefully we run into a place soon, because I, I need to... <laughs> we need to wrap wrap this up. Alright, bro. We need to rest. Uh, visit. 100% visit. Don't even know what that other button was. I don't know if that was like trade or some shit. But uh, no idea. You know what this crazy is? is You can really get into like the trading side of this game if you find like materials for super cheap. And you know how much you know. You know how much they're worth, so you know they're cheap. And you can go somewhere else and sell them for more, and just make a profit off of silver. Actually, a really, really good idea. Uh, when you arrive at the village, you observe locals making sacrifices to the local goddess of spirits. Uh, the local wait. It looks like these are farm girls, but these ghost bears really are ready to cut things off. We don't know the local customs, so we better be on guard. You are uncertain of your guest rights. You don't want to test your hemming in case the local priest took it. You or your crew has a valuable sacrifice. Some of the old women offer you fresh, offer you food. Uh, shit. I'm just gonna do that. You watch from safe distance and keep a few warriors watching in case of trouble. Nah, that, that worked out good. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and end the episode here today, and I'll see you guys next time with many more of the great whale roads to come as we progress through the Danes campaign. Um, I'm Sergeant Kenai, and I'm signing out.